watching the headlines with me, I'm Dipavli Hazra. It is being alleged that Lucknow police snatched away blankets of anti-CAA protesters who were demonstrating near Ghantaghar. Police say the blankets were seized after due process in order to disperse outsiders. Police say the protest was illegal and when some people started distributing blankets, the police seized the items from outsiders who were not part of the protest. Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said that a Citizenship Act in India wasn't necessary and that she didn't understand why the government did it. She, however, added that CAA and NRC are India's internal matters. The Bangladesh Prime Minister's statement comes after the nation's foreign minister had earlier said that any uncertainty over the two laws may also affect Bangladesh. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal today promised a 10-point guarantee card to the people ahead of the Delhi Assembly elections. The guarantee card contains promises like free power, 24-hour drinking water from taps, a clean Yamuna and environment as well as housing for slum dwellers, among other things. The pilgrimage town of Shirdi in Maharashtra is observing a bunth today over Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre's remarks over the birthplace of spiritual figure Sai Baba. Local BJP MLA and Maharashtra Minister Radha Krishna Vikhe Patil threatened an indefinite band if the government does not come up with a solution. Udav Thakre has called a meeting over the issue on Monday, while Shirdi's shut down the Sai Baba temple was open. Hitting back at allegations that the BJP-led centre was biased against Muslim refugees, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman shared statistics on the number of refugees from Afghanistan and Pakistan and other neighbouring countries who were given citizenship in India from 2014. She also noted the cases of singer Adnan Sami and author Taslima Nasreen in particular. RSS chief Mohan Bhagwat on Sunday said that the RSS believes only in the constitution of India and no other power centre exists. He also said that when the Sangh says that India belongs to Hindus and 130 crore people are Hindu, it doesn't mean RSS wants to change anyone's religion, language or caste. His remarks come in the backdrop of nationwide citizenship law protests. Niti Aayog member V.K. Saraswat made an outrageous remark on the internet shutdown in Kashmir, saying it makes no difference if there's no internet there. He said no e-tailing activity happens in Kashmir and that people only use it to watch dirty movies. Senior Congress leader Kapil Sibyl said that states cannot oppose the Citizenship Amendment Act as it is a law passed by the Parliament of India. He said that if the Supreme Court declares the law constitutional, then it will become difficult for the states to oppose it. Congress's Salman Khurshid also agreed, saying that constitutionally states cannot refuse to implement the CAA. Sibyl in a tweet later in the morning said the fight, however, must go on and that states should let the Congress nationally take charge. The Kerala governor, Arif Mohammed Khan, on Sunday sought a report from the Kerala government for filing a petition in the Supreme Court against the implementation of the CAA without informing him. Earlier, Khan had publicly criticised the Pinarayi Vijayan-led government for taking the step without following protocol. Former Mizoram Governor Swaraj Kaushal appreciated the Centre for settling the Blue Refugee Crisis. He said the Blue Rayang Refugee Agreement was to settle them permanently so that they led a life of dignity. He welcomed the fact that it was a lasting solution. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.